So I'll click it right there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marianne Gadra. I'm one of the librarians here at Jefferson High School. And I'm Priscilla Pineda, and I'm another librarian here at Jefferson. And um, basically, uh, just to introduce ourselves, um, we've this is uh, Priscilla's second year of the library. This is my tenth year of being in the library. Um, before I was a librarian, I was a teacher, and I taught fourth grade, um, all content areas. And um, I've always wanted to be a librarian. It's just something I've always wanted to do. Um, I love to read and I love to encourage children to read so um, it was just kind of a natural progression to go from being a teacher to being a librarian for me. Um, I got my master's in library sciences at the University of North Texas. Um, before then I got my bachelor's at, um, at UT El Paso um, in interdisciplinary studies and um, that's pretty much I have on that. <laughs> okay. And just like Marianne, I knew I always knew I wanted to be a librarian. Um, before um, coming to Jefferson or becoming a librarian here at Jefferson, I was a teacher here for ESL for two years. And prior to that, I graduated from UTEP um, for English. And as I was going through UTEP, I was working at the public library. So I always knew that I wanted to work at a library. And after UTEP and after teaching for two years, I I got my master's through Texas Women's University in library science, and I just recently graduated, but I was lucky enough to be working as I was going to school, and I, like I've said already, I've always wanted to be a librarian. It's always been a calling to me. I love to read. I love books, and I love, I love being able to teach and to be able to, um, to share this passion with our students. Okay. Thank you, ladies. And I'd like to ask you all, um, or I'd like to go ahead and preface this by saying librarians can do a lot to either encourage or discourage um, students from reading. And my question to you all is this, what do you all do to encourage our students here at Jefferson High School to read? Do you want to start? <laughs> okay. Um, prior to coming to uh, becoming a librarian here, Mary Ann was here as well as another librarian, and we noticed my first year here that we really needed to have more students come into the library. There were a lot of kids that didn't know where the library was, so our main goal was to drive in that traffic. So my first year here, which was two years ago, we did a lot of programming that was mostly to get students in. It was a lot of fun stuff like carnivals. Um, we had a casino night, we have um, a haunted library, and things of that sort. They weren't all literacy-based, but some were just for fun, but it was to gain awareness of the library being here. And from there, we were branching out to more literacy-based um, programming. Do you want to mention some of those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, some of the other things that we did that were literature-based was um, we did um, a Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros event. Um, and we had a lot of reading-oriented um, events that went on within that event. We had a storytelling contest. We had students come in and create read bracelets. We gave we uh, were uh, granted with a um, a grant through First Book, and they gave us a bunch of free books to give away to students that were popular young adult literature. And they just it was a really great program, and we had a lot of students come out for that and everything. Um, couple of the other literature, sometimes we'll have a carnival where we'll do it where it's more um, test-taking skills, basically, or, um, I'm trying to, how do you think, are you with that? <laughs> like educational games. Okay. Educationally based games that they come in and they play, and then sometimes we just do it for fun as well. Um, and just recently we started a book club where we have our students, our, we have a library club, and these are students that help us. They volunteer. They help us shelf books. They help us with the events. They help us do day-to-day -day things. And we, we started a book club where with them where we're reading a book, and we meet once a week to discuss it, and we discuss the novel in depth, and hopefully at some point we can bring in authors in the future to, to discuss the books with, them, with our book club also. Another thing that I know you all have done a wonderful job with is providing school supplies and a project center for the students. Can you tell us about that? Okay, that's your okay. baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, a few years ago we noticed at one of the other high schools that um, they had a project center, which is a great idea to um, 
when students are here doing research, a lot of the time they have to produce some sort of poster or some sort of physical uh, display that they have to present to their classes um, on that project. And so we thought, what a better what better a place to finish that in in the library as well. And that has really done um, a great service for both the students and for the um, the faculty because. Teachers can schedule the library, come in, and they don't, their students don't have any excuses as to not have, they didn't have the supplies, they couldn't do that because we provide that for them as well. Um, the actual free school supplies that we give away, we know that a lot of our students can't afford those school supplies, and they still need them. They need paper, they need binders, they need folders, notebooks, pencils, and so we supply that. And a lot of it comes out of our own um, funding, um, but we do try to use library funds if we can. Um, we have joined a couple of programs um, where, uh, for instance, Funding Factory where we recycle ink cartridges and the school brings us their ink cartridges and we recycle them and that com with that company and that company gives us school supplies. Um, they give us gift certificates to buy school supplies through different vendors. And um, that has helped a lot because we're able to purchase stuff that our students can use. Um, we can give it away for free because we haven't had to purchase it. The school hasn't had to purchase it. And it kind of just benefits everybody in that way. Um, and like I said, the Project Center, we try and fund that as well through Funding Factory as well. So And so with the Project Center, you provide poster board, markers, stickers? Stickers, mm -hmm. foam die letters, cuts. die cuts. We, have, uh, we were fortunate enough someone donated an Ellison machine to us this year, and so we have that. We have construction paper. Anything that we can, anything we come across, styrofoam balls, googly eyes, anything we come across that they can do to better their presentation that they wouldn't have access to normally. Okay, great. And then another thing that you all do when you involve teachers and staff is you provide a lot of instruction for students, um, for example, Glogster and so forth. Priscilla, can you tell us about that? Mm -hmm. it's starting this year, we started to use a lot of, um, to gear a lot of our lessons towards Web 2.0 tools and um, online websites and online based programs that help students create better presentations that are fun to work with and that are easy to work with. Um, we have a lot of students come in, a lot of classes come in to learn Glockster, which is an online, basically it's like an online poster. Um, it's a free website. They go in there, they create their posters online, and they can add pictures, they can add video, they can add a bunch of fun stuff to it, and then that helps them present their um, what what their work is. And then we also teach them how to use Prezi and also um, teach them how to use Animoto, which is to make videos, um, and other websites of that sort. And we also do um, general research and also um, we also have a lesson on to teach them about plagiarism and copyright laws and stuff like that. Okay, wonderful. Um, and just out of curiosity, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind sharing your future plans for the library here at Jefferson High School. What, what you foresee coming up in the future as far as programs and, and what you have to offer our students. Okay. Well, like Priscilla said earlier, um, we are looking to hopefully get authors in so that we could do um, more author study with our book studies. We can bring in classes to present and everything. Um, this past year, Priscilla was able to bring in um, our Shakespeare on the Run, which basically is our local one of our local acting groups that um, portray Shakespeare plays in the fall. And they came in and, and did little snippets from different Shakespearean plays, which was great because we had our sophomores and our ESL kids go over to and, and watch this. And then they were able to talk to the actors afterwards and ask them how they got into acting, um, why they like Shakespeare so much. And they got to learn a lot about the plays, which they were currently reading in their English classes. And so we would like to continue that as well in the future um, and just to bring in a, some outside events from like that. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we were looking to bring into the library was to use our video conferencing equipment that the school currently has. Through video conferencing they'll be able to attend classes and lessons that they otherwise wouldn't be able to. Or they have um, lessons you can attend an, an autopsy session for example. Or things that you otherwise would not be able to see. Or you can attend a tour of a city. Things of that sort. So that would be, um, that's something that we're looking into to have more lessons of this year because we, we're really not having any right now. <laughs> and I have to say that I'm so amazed with what you all do as librarians here at Jefferson High School. I've never seen librarians as caring and encouraging and, and as engaging um, for our students. Um, I guess our last question, 
and it might be a rather lengthy one for you all <laughs> to answer because of course this is our passion but if you'll do us a favor and share with us some of your favorite authors and books and genres for young adults okay you go first <laughs> um What's interesting about us is that I am more into realistic fiction, and I know Marianne is more into um, fantasy. fantasy. <laughs> and so when a kid comes in and they ask like for recommendations, I already know. If I don't know it, then she'll know it, because we kind of divide up that way, I guess. But I really like realistic fiction. I like historical fiction. I read a lot of young adult literature, obviously. And some of my favorite authors... Um, think now. <laughs> but like, I think I guess I'll, I'll start with some of my favorite books. I really like The Bell Jar. I really like The Perks of Being a Wallflower and some of the classic young adult novels like A Catcher in the Rye. And I also really enjoy poetry and I enjoy, um, I guess, like historical fiction like um, The Book Thief and books of that sort also. Um, as far as authors goes, um, right now we're, we've been reading Benjamin Sines and I really enjoy his books and he's a local author but he's he's nationally known and other than that I mean I guess I just read a little bit of everything as long as it's you know everything that's young adult and that's that's um something that's interesting I guess. <laughs> okay and Marianne? Um, I like like Priscilla said I really am into fantasy the higher fantasy levels um, I am currently reading the Game of Thrones as well as the, our book group book um, by Benjamin Sines. Um, and so, but um, some of my favorite books would be um, uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is probably my absolute favorite story. And um, anything by Washington Irving, I am just, I love him. Um, I like a lot of the classics, um, Little Women, um, Treasure Island. A lot of those are my favorites. Um, I really like author-wise. I really like um, Oyen Coffer, and I like um, uh, Robin Will or Robin McKinley. Um, huge fan of fairy tales, uh, Grimm's fairy tales, and so anybody who writes a, a revision of that or they take a spin off of it, um, I am just I am all over it. I have to read it. So <laughs> big fairy tale geek. So I just. Like I like she said, I like a lot of uh, fantasy. I do like a lot of historical fiction as well. Um, I like do like to read biographies, um, and so I I could branch out into that a little bit. But it's pretty much in my comfort zone with fiction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else you would like would like to mention before we wrap mm -hmm. up this video? <laughs> Well, I want to say thank you to you also to, for bringing in all your classes and a lot of times teachers don't realize how much we have to offer here and that it's not just about books, it's about lessons and it's about researching and you know this summer I've had so many different classes like math and science and you know and it, it's a resource that's not just for English and I'm glad that Family Consumer Sciences is able to take advantage of what we have here also. Oh well we yes. just love it and appreciate you all. <laughs> well and you've just you your your whole department you and your whole department have just been a very supportive of our library this year and we really appreciate that and like Priscilla said you know we've had more teachers come in and most of it's because of what you guys have told you know, mm -hmm. you know, we've you guys have been our guinea pigs for some of these Web 2.0 yeah. <laughs> lessons and stuff, and and you guys have spread the word, and because of that, we are getting more usage in the library, and we do appreciate yeah. that greatly. And, <laughs> and advocacy for the library is very important because mm -hmm. it's one of the programs that's usually one of the first ones to be cut when mm -hmm. when they need more money. Mm -hmm. So it's really good that a lot of teachers are using us now, and we really enjoy it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all very much. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.